Running Strong, Running Strong for American Indian Youth Program helps to fund the dreams of Native youth across the nation. Every year they give away 10 grants worth $10,000 apiece. Hannah Davis caught up with one recipient of last year's grant living here in North Dakota. The Dream Starters grant has a new theme each year. In 2018, it was science and education. This is how the Grandmother Earth Traditional Knowledge Camp came to be. As Native people, we always protected Mother Earth first. We always uh, prayed to her because she, she's the one that gave us the animals we eat and the green grass, you know, the waters. We basically live off of her back. Their goal is to make the world a better place by discussing the old traditions and showing how they can help us in today's time. We're here at the Earth Lodges to talk about some of the traditional methods of planting. Um, we're, and then we're going to be going to the college later to talk about the agricultural practices that we use today. Traditional methods like the idea of planting the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash together for the benefit of diet and soil. Oil fertility. The history behind it and then some stuff I remember from like elementary school. I like, yeah, then it's just really nostalgic coming here. Eagle is also a member of the Indigenized Energy nonprofit working to make the use of renewable energy more common. One of the things too we're teaching the kids here at the traditional camp is how does solar work? What does it do? With the camp, they are embracing their roots and using them to move forward. Our knowledge of the environment and our knowledge of the land, it isn't something that's separate from our knowledge about songs and stories. Blending traditions with science and education. For KX News, I'm Hannah Davis. Well, Eagle plans to continue his dream of connecting youth to the land through traditional knowledge with his indigenized youth organization.